This guy and his congregation are a speck uh, of uh, hate and uh, uh, fear-mongering, and they basically are exploiting the situation. I think the lesson to learn here is the fact that we as a nation will never uh, uh, negotiate with terrorists or those that use extreme means of hate to try to manipulate the, the discourse. And I think similarly we've seen, uh, and I think it's not just the media's fault. Remember, this guy put this issue on Facebook. It then got translated into different websites, the Islamist media. So I think the teaching thing from a reformist standpoint, I would say, is that we're in an information war. We need to start to take the offense and say, you know what, we're going to advocate for ideas of freedom and liberty and stand behind the Constitution, even though we may pay a price for it, just as when they had videos of our soldiers, God forbid, being beheaded, the, the cartoon issues. All of that is an information war that we have yet to even begin as Americans. And, and yet, Paul, controlling information, I mean, the, you know, it, every, there, information has become democratized. Anybody can put anything on the web. This guy will videotape, you know, this pastor will probably videotape and, and put it on the web and it will be out there. Well, that's the thing. You know, I'm trying to move back uh, who commented when and whether we should have covered it. And I think it's been an interesting conversation. But I think the reason General Petraeus uh, commented on it, which is why CNN covered it, is because he had to. It's because, as, as, uh, as uh, the, Dr. Jesser says, it's, it was getting out into the bloodstream through other ways. You know, back just even a few years ago when Gergen and I were working in the White House, if CNN didn't cover it, it didn't happen. Now it does. And this guy understands that. Uh, he, you know, he gives, he gives crazy religious fanatics everywhere a bad name, but he certainly understands how to manipulate the media.